Hello and welcome to Kitty Code Ninja Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create a Christmas decoration in Scratch. Let's dive in. Again, like always, we click on the create after we went to scratch.mit.edu. We click on create and we wait for the project environment to open. We get rid of everything that we don't need. We're going to create a very simple, quick Christmas decoration in Scratch. Uh, first thing, we choose a backdrop. From the backdrop, I choose snow. I actually it's winter which is relevant to what we're going to do so I choose this and then we need some sprites okay now we need to choose sprite so I go to the sprites I click here and then I choose snow so we have snowman we have snowflake both relevant i choose this one which is nice and then i go to snow snowflake uh, i can reduce the size maybe to 10 it's too small 20 Good. And I can duplicate it multiple times so that I have a bit more snow. Good enough. And then I arrange them the way I want. let's also now let's decorate these trees and write a code so i go to the sprite again um let's put a bell make it smaller 30 few more so again I duplicate it and duplicate and duplicate so I put a couple of bells on each tree and then now let's create some lights as well In order to create lights, we again go to sprites. Now we can take ball instead of light. So I take one and then we duplicate as many as we want. So the more, the more beautiful, but I just duplicate a few to just demo and then you can do as many as you want for yourself. We can give them size, so I select and then I adjust the size from here. 30. We can do different sizes to make it more beautiful. Maybe this one, 45. We can do really whatever you want, 50. And sixty is too big, so eighty, and then we arrange them on those trees. One also here. Now we're gonna write a code so that those. Um, 
balls look like a light that is flashing. So in order to do that, I write when start clicked forever and then from the looks because you're going to change the color or appearance so it's look change color effect by 25 and then I put a weight in between and one more change of color so again change color and I can make the weight a bit shorter to look like an animation I play start to see what I did so if you look at this one you see how the color is changing oh we have one more here as well all right now in order to apply the code to the other ones as well I go to the one that I have the code in it and then I can simply drag the code from here to the sprite so that the code would be copied on the other balls as well so like this ball doesn't have anything but this ball has the code so I put my mouse here and then I drag it on this ball and again I go to the ball that doesn't have anything and then I drag the code on top of it and I repeat this for every other ball. So again here and here. So now if I look at the other balls, now you see every ball has a code so now that I click start all of them see that color effect if my initial color would be different they would act differently as well but now it's also a nice design uh, one more thing we can do is we can ask this uh, snowman to say happy holiday or some message so in order to do that I click on the snowman now I'm on the snowman code environment and then I say uh, when start clicked and then from the looks say hello for two seconds then I change the two to maybe five and then instead of hello I say happy holidays or any message that you like and then I click start again so I see the message is coming stays for five seconds and the lights are flashing there are a lot more things we can do but we can continue on this on the next tutorials we can make the snows move we can create a card by putting this design into an actual foldable card so feel free to write on the comment if you have any idea of what we can do to make it more interesting what you have done share your projects with me uh, and if you have any question feel free to ask and I'm gonna answer your questions I'm gonna put the link to this project on the scratch website on the description so that you can go and check it out If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so that you won't miss the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to see how we can create a Christmas card. Stay tuned.